Um, before I get into this video, um, this video is going to be about Ripley's Aquarium in Toronto, Canada. Um, this is, uh, you know, I think it's a well-known aquarium. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, so yeah, just I'll walk you through the video and talk, talk to you about all the fish. Now I will say, I don't know every single fish's name, but um, yeah, I can, I'll try my best on to see like uh, all the names that I do know. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. So this is the first tank that you see. It is a tank filled with sardine-like fishes. Uh, it's a cool tank to watch, and yeah, I was I really enjoyed this tank. Here and here's the bottom view of this tank. It's also really cool. This is one of the tanks with the lake fish in there. Not sure what they are, but I see some sturgeons. This is another tank with uh, some weird grouper-like type of fish. Uh, the color is changing on this tank. I don't know why they did that. Uh, these look like they look to be some nocturnal fish. So uh, this is another tank with a really really cool looking wrasse. I really like this wrasse. If I get a saltwater tank ever, I totally keep this wrasse. That looks. So this is a cat shark. I mean I don't even know what shark it is, but it's a shark anyways. There's some starfish and some other types of fish. Uh, sea cucumber right there. Uh, it's always cool to see some young sharks. This, I don't even know what it is, but you know, I really, really, really want this fish. It looks sick. So here's another picture of it. it looks really cool. I wish I had this fish. Um, these are some gobies. I don't know why they're in a gravel substrate, because I think they need sand or something. But yeah, that's out of my control, and they probably know more than I do. So yeah, here's the gobies. Uh, this is a spider crab, I think, or Japanese, I don't know, some spider crab. These crabs are huge, and they look sweet. I totally have a tank one of, the, of one of these things. There's also some shrimp think peppermint shrimp maybe these are some type of slug things i don't i'm not even sure what they do but uh this is just a random tank filled with a bunch of fish and stuff i'm not sure what they're trying to showcase here um this is kelp forest i think that's what it's called um this is a really cool tank with a bunch of fish that come from lakes and stuff there's a flounder um so yeah this tank is really really cool has a bunch of kelp, obviously, and this is just trying to showcase, like, I think it's like a biotope kind of tank, and yeah, it's pretty sweet. Um, this tank is like, I don't know, maybe the second largest, or third, it's, it has to be one of the largest tanks in this aquarium. Okay, so that's enough of me talking. Uh, this is just, I'll just put some music over this so you can enjoy a few seconds of this tank. So, enjoy. Okay, so this is just some type of anemone wall thing with a bunch of different types of anemones. Here's another tank with a bunch of different types of anemones. There's nothing really much to say about this tank. Except that it has a lot of anemones. So, yeah. This is another fish that's, you know, found in the wild. Not or really ornamental. But these fish have sweet finage. Like, look at that finage right there. It looks sick. Okay, so this is Rainbow Reef. This is probably one of the coolest tanks in the aquarium. There's so many fish in this tank, and there's so many different varieties and a huge diversity of this tank. I believe all these corals are just inserts and not real corals, but you know, I probably wouldn't be able to keep like real corals in such a big tank. And it allows like some fish that, you know, eat coral or something to live in that tank. So more diversity, I get it. Um, these are some pajama cardinals. I thought that was cool 
that they're hanging out in that coral or yeah the insert um yeah there's just a huge like huge 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 diversity of fish like everywhere like everywhere you look you just see a different type of fish which is a really cool part of this tank i think this tank's like 10,000 or 20,000 gallons I'm really not sure so i took a lot of footage of this tank so i'll just let the music turn on and i'll stop talking to the next tank this is probably the biggest tank in this aquarium okay not probably this is the biggest tank in the aquarium this has a shark as you can see right there um, and a bunch of other fish this tank is so cool to watch and it also has like this moving like escalator thing I don't know but it's like this moving platform that just lets you move slowly around this tank and I really love it. There's also a sawfish right here. It's like four or five feet, six feet maybe. It's probably as tall as like an average human being or something. Uh, there's also coral inserts. You know, you got to keep big fish and you can't keep live coral with them. So you got to de decorate the tank somehow, right? So yeah, this is just really cool tank there's also like some turtles and nurse sharks and all that stuff oh that's a big guy look at that tiger shark it looks amazing there's also this is like a tunnel for this tank so like you could look at, you can look at this tank through a tunnel so that's the that's really cool um for the fish tank to do that there's also a bunch of look downs there here's a bunch of schooling fish that I found these schooling fish are really cool and fish look really nice in big schools this is also a turtle I found on a shark so that was pretty much the funniest thing that I saw in this aquarium um, this is another shark uh, so yeah there's nothing much to this tank oh there's a turtle again um, there's nothing much to this tank oh I touched that stingray in the pool that was a really cool stingray, or some other stingray, but same species, you know the deal. Um, here is just a grouper. Um, these groupers are huge, like three to five feet or something. Yeah, these guys are amazing. They're probably one of the biggest groupers because I think these are goliath groupies, groupers or something. So I'm guessing it's the biggest. This is just one of the stingray aquariums, just a funny aquarium with like all these stingrays um i don't know what those stingrays are that have like the flappy thingies but um yeah this is a really cool tank to watch and as you can see that stingray keeps coming in so you can take a good look at what the stingray looks on the bottom oh there's a shark in here so i guess it's not a stingray aquarium but here it comes again uh yeah so this tank was really cool to watch, especially that stingray against the glass. So yeah, this is a pretty cool tank to watch. Um, I think this is part of the bigger tank, but I'm really not sure. Uh, the next tank is a touch pool tank with some horseshoe crabs. I got a little bit of footage of that. The This tank is a clownfish tank, and from what I know about clownfish, I think they're, um, you know, they're aggressive to one another, but, you know, they seem to be coexistfully peaceful with each other um this is a nurse shark with a bunch of uh black tip reefs uh this tank is just a random reef aquarium that i saw uh this tank actually has live corals 
Um, there's a bunch of Chromis in here and, you know, some Gobies and all of that stuff. I think I saw a Tang in here and some Rasses. Oh, there the Chromises are. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty big tank with not a lot of fish. This is the Lionfish tank. Really, really cool tank. I like this tank. Uh, this is an electric eel tank, and I think the acrylic is really thick. So you can touch this tank if you ever go to this aquarium. Uh, they have a bunch of Colombian tetras, I think, and some java moss with some driftwood. You know. Next up is a seahorse tank. Pretty cool tank. Uh, this is with a bunch of headstander fish and pipefish. Uh, I don't know. I'm just calling them headstanders because they're standing upside down. Uh, there's nothing really much in this tank except for like some, I think those plants are fake. But yeah, this is like, I would totally keep those fish that are hanging upside down because it's just an unusual habit. These are, this is like a mangrove tank, brackish tank. Has a bunch of archer fish. I do not know why they're on the bottom. Uh, this is cuttlefish tank. Oh, wow. these cuttlefishes are amazing, man. Like, the amount of color on them. They look a little small to me. I don't know why. Like, they don't have big ones. But, yeah, this is a really cool tank to watch with, like, all the different colors of the cuttlefish. This is a piranha aquarium. Um, as many of you believe, piranhas are super aggressive and stuff. But, you see, they're living with a bunch of Lepernius, I think. I don't know what they're called. But, like, they're living with, you know, other types of fish. So, you know... They're not living up to their expectation, right? Next up is an isopod tank. It has a huge isopod-like thingy. Uh, this thing is like some type of goby. I don't know why it's in such a small, like, narrow tank for it. But, like, it doesn't look too high. And, but yeah, it's still a pretty cool tank to look at. These are freshwater stingrays. Uh, I think they're black diamonds, maybe? and Motoro stingrays. I am thinking about keeping stingrays in the near future. Um, this is the saltwater stingray part, I'm trying to show the different types of stingrays I see. Um, yeah, so saltwater stingrays are much bigger than freshwater stingrays. And you know, there's sharks in here, so I think this is also part of the bigger tank. Uh, so, cause it looks like it has like the same fish and stuff. But you know, this is a pretty cool display. Next up is um, some jellyfish. These things are really cool. Just wait till you see them. Okay, so look at them. They look sweet, right? I wish I had a jellyfish tank in my house. These, t I mean, I could sit here for hours and just watch them. Like, oh, they're just so calming and peaceful to watch. I'm not even kidding, guys. These guys are, look sweet. Um, the I think the color changes on this tank, so that's probably why. And it's a there's just a bunch of color on this, so my phone's probably not picking up. Those are some moon jellyfish. Um, some more moon jellyfish. I think those ones are the bigger ones. These are the I mean they're more moon jellyfish, but I think they need to clean their glass on this tank. But this is a tank that's probably really hard to clean the glass on. Uh, this is some, uh, shell, I mean, like, cl clam shells and other, John. oh, upside, they have upside down jellies. I couldn't see that because of the sand. It went perfectly. This is the filtration room. This is really, really big. Like, I was talking about how I spent $400 on a filter. I'll put a link to that in the description. But this thing costs, like, probably my house or something. <laughs> So yeah, this is another display of the filtration. I like how they showed uh, how much filtration goes into all these tanks. It's a really cool thing to watch like all like the sound and stuff. This is a touch pool, saw hammerhead sharks. So the last thing of Ripley's Aquarium is the top view of, the, of their biggest tank. Um, this is a really nice experience. Thanks for watching.